Hello and welcome to traders and investors. I'm glad to present here the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from FX.co portal. Here we go. Today is January 4 and we're starting from Euro Dollar Power with Jakub Novak. Last month the Fed concluded that it would be prudent to maintain a restrictive stance, recognizing at the same time that rates likely reached a peak value and should be reduced by 2024. This negatively affected dollar, causing it to lose position against the euro. Today, there will be reports related to activity in the services sector of eurozone countries, which in addition will be supplemented by CPI data from Germany. Strong indicators will allow buyers to hold the market, potentially offsetting the recent decline. Long positions by euro when the quote hits 1.0937 and take profit at the price of 1.0964. Growth will occur after very good PMI data and a consolidation above the local high. When buying, make sure that the MACD line is above zero or rises from it. Euro can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.0915. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area this time. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.0937 and 1.0964. For short positions, sell Gabra when the quote hits 1.0915 and take profit at the price of 1.0885. Pressure will return in the case of weak data and no bullish activity around the daily high. When selling, make sure that the MACD line lies under zero or drops down from it. Euro can also be sold after two consecutive price tests of 1.0937, but the MACD line should be in an overbought area, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0915 and 1.0885. And now here's Larry Bailey with GBB USD currency pair focused. Let's have a look. Despite several counter dollar currencies falling on Wednesday, the British pound was up by 48 pips. The quote returned above the level of 1.2645, indicating an intention to rise to 1.2745. The modern oscillator still in the bearish territory, but it already shows an intention to turn upwards. We can confirm the growth once the price closes the day above the support level at 1.2645, preferably with a white candle. This is important because key US employment data will be released on Friday. On the 4-hour chart, the price has consolidated above the support at 1.2645. But the Marlin oscillator has not yet left the bearish territory. Ahead of the price, there is also resistance at the MACD line. 1.2705 If traders attack this resistance today, this will prove that the market intends to continue the upward movement more aggressively, possibly starting tomorrow. And now it's time for USD JPY currency pair, Arif Mockmore describes. There is the appearance of deviation pattern between the price movement USD JPY with MACD histogram indicator. 
which at the same time, the moment of USDJPY is held by the bullish fair value gap. which act as the level support area. Although currently the USD-JPY price movement still below the WMA30 shift 2. But based on the appearance of that divergent, and a few days ahead, USD-JPY has the potential to appreciate it upward to test the level 144.96. If the momentum as well as the volatility is supporting enough, then it's not possible that the level 147.30 will be the next target to be aimed. But this strengthening scenario will cancel itself if on the way to those level targets suddenly USDJPY corrected weak significantly, especially if breaks below the level 140.71, the bottom border of the fair value gap. That's all for today, see you online soon and good luck!